Gotta love Connecticut Hockey sat down with Jonathan Quick, Connecticut native and goaltender for the LA Kings. Even after 10 seasons with the LA Kings, this Conn Smythe winner comes back to Connecticut each summer to connect with his roots. You have just finished your 10th season with the LA Kings. To what do you owe your longevity with the team? For one, we have uh, great trainers and LA, I've had a few injuries along the way and they do a great job of getting me back in 100%. Ben Prent is my uh, trainer I work with in the summertime. He does a great job getting me prepared and going into the season in my best possible physical shape. What is your goal for this new season? Oh, it's the same every year. We're just we're trying to win the cup at the end of the year. It's been a realistic goal for the past five, six, seven years. We've had good hockey teams and uh, we've been really competitive. Now you've worked really hard throughout your career, obviously you have two Stanley Cup wins. What was that feeling like, uh, not getting just the first one, but when you had the chance to hoist the cup the second time? It's obviously really exciting and you're grateful for your teammates, all the work they put in and it's special. And you currently lead for all-time shutouts for American goalies. What's it like to have that stat underneath your belt? Again, that's uh, kind of a team thing. It's really difficult for a goalie to get a shutout on his own. So he needs a good group of team in front of him and great defensemen. And I've been fortunate enough to have that. I think that's something that we take a lot of pride in, how we play in our own end. And, you know, that's a tribute to them. Now you're obviously a dad, you have two young kids. What's it like being able to have your kids you know, out on the West Coast and then you kind of bring them back during the summertime? What's it like for them? I think it's exciting for them. You know, we get good, good weather during the winter months. And then when we come back in the summertime, it's obviously beautiful. They got their cousins that they're, you know, they're best friends with. So they spend a lot of time with them and they're excited to see grandparents, uh, aunts, uncles, and everything like that. Yeah. What's the difference between life in LA versus life in Connecticut? When I'm in LA, it's uh, it's in season for me, so my schedule's busy, and the kids are in school, so you get fewer moments to just kind of relax. When we're in Connecticut, it's the off season for us. The kids are off of school. You know, we get to hang out, relax by the pool. There's just far more family dinners and, and barbecues and stuff like that. So it is a lot more relaxing uh, and easy going than, than while we're in LA. Yeah. Your father-in-law, Mike Backman, used to play for the New York Rangers and your brother-in-laws, Sean Backman and Matt Molson, are also professional hockey players. What's it like having such a large hockey family? Do you guys talk about anything during the holidays except hockey? I mean, I think that's what we know best. There's a good amount of golf talk. You know, I hear that from time to time, and it's mostly, mostly hockey, I would say, yeah. Now, obviously, you're in the off-season. What are you specifically doing that's going to help contribute to, hopefully, a farther run into the playoffs this coming season? My trainers in LA, my trainer here, they collaborate, put a program together. You know, it seems like the older you get, you have more little nagging injuries every year. So I think it's primarily get 100% healthy and then you just continue to try to get stronger and you try not to get too heavy. That's it. <laughs> Those are the biggest things. Of yeah. course. Yeah. When you're in LA, is there anything specifically that you miss about being in Connecticut? Uh, I think for one family, like, like the seasons and uh, fall, you miss fall. and. I know I uh, probably shouldn't say it, but I do miss winter. Like Christmas time and it's 70 degrees, it doesn't feel quite like Christmas. I think we've grown accustomed to it over the past decade, but same with like Thanksgiving and the, the whole fall season, you, you don't really get it uh, out there. You're wearing your Yankees hat right now. If we saw you in LA, would we catch you rocking your Yankees hat? Yeah, most likely. I have been to a few Dodger games and I'll, I'll throw on a Dodger hat for that, but uh, yeah. Most likely I'm wearing either this or a New York Giants hat. I, I have a couple of each, so I mix it up, yeah. I like that you stay true to your teams. Yeah, thank you. You have a sandwich named after you in your hometown of Hamden. What was it like to have a sandwich named after yourself? I mean, it was special because it was a deli that me and my friends used to go to like, when we were younger. As soon as we got home from school, we'd get on our bikes and we'd go there. And I've eaten at Ray and Mike's Deli hundreds and hundreds of times. For them to give me that honor is pretty special. Take me back to your youth hockey days. What do you remember most? I just remember it being so fun. You know, you're just going to play. There's there's no pressure. You're just you're just playing hockey and I played with a bunch of kids that I you know still talk to today. We were able to win a couple tournaments. Those weekend tournaments used to play in, and uh, I just remember it being a lot of fun. Yeah. What advice do you have for someone that's possibly considering stepping into some goalie pads? Uh, you got to enjoy it. I think that's one thing. Uh, Mentally, I think it's uh, it's taxing. So you got to be strong mentally. You got to be able to deal with bad nights and giving up bad goals at times, and being able to bounce back and brush it off and just kind of keep playing. If you don't enjoy it, it's going to be a long road because you get hit with a lot of pucks and some of them hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but you gotta enjoy it and uh, yeah, just try to have fun every time you go out there.